Hello and welcome to another update from me, uh, an Inkscape developer. Um, this week uh, we have been pretty busy with the with the release of the Inkscape 1.0.1 bug fix release. Um, so what I wanted to do is I wanted to get you all caught up, uh, let you know how that process went. Um, and I also wanted to do something a bit different and maybe give you some uh, behind the scenes sort of a DVD extras, um, how the process works for some of the simple fi fi fixes, but involve quite a few individuals. Um, the first thing to, to do is to thank all of my patrons for continuing to support me. Uh, if you would like to support my In Inkscape development work, uh, please see the link below. Um, and uh, let's let's see what we have. So, first of all, a big shout out to all of the Inkscape developers, all of the Inkscape uh, bug tree, triage, all of the vectors team. Uh, what we did this week um, on I think it was Tuesday, um, and this week has has been long, hasn't it? Uh, we all got together. Uh, we got together on Rocket Chat, and we also got to together on Big Big Blue Button. Uh, we sequentially made releases for each of the operating systems uh, for the bug fix release. Uh, we had to monitor, make sure that the uploads went okay, and then we had to make sure that the distribution to our caching system went okay, because as well as doing Inkscape development, I also look after the website. Um, so we, it was it was actually really fun, and I think that next time we do a, a release, we're definitely going to have to get together in a video com conference again. Because um, it feels a bit like mission control, you know, you're all there with real-time graphs and uh, people put, p popping up with different bits of information about things that are happening. And because uh, there's a lot of moving parts and a lot of people involved, and uh, even though we're all volunteers, we, we, we take this pretty seriously. We want to make sure that we deliver a concrete and like pretty good release for everybody. Um, and in fact, that's one of the reasons why we decided to do the 1.0.1 release uh, was because we had. Um, crashes that were happening in the wild, people, especially in win Windows, uh, were reporting quite frustratingly that Inkscape was just dying, you know, halfway through them making a beautiful piece of artwork or doing some kind of, um, you know, uh, drafting a design. Uh, and that's not acceptable. Like, Inkscape can be designed badly or it can, um, you know, not have the features that you need, but at the very least, it shouldn't crash. Um, so, like, any time it doesn't crash, that's definitely Inkscape's problem to deal with. Um, so trying to get a better ha handle on that and being able to, like, go in and fix some of the, the, the issues, that's been a priority. Um, so what tends to happen is is that we, we are developing the next version of Inkscape, 1.1. 1, 1. 1. That's where all of the features go in, all of the things that I show you on these videos. Um, those will happen in the next, like, full release where all of the features go. Um, but then what we do is when we find, uh, especially crash fixes, we do what's called cherry picking. This is where we move fixes from being in the in the next version uh, to merging them into the previous version, and then we re-release the pre from previous version as a as a bug fix release. Um, as soon as we have accumulated enough of the fi fixes together, so it makes the work of actually making a release make sense. Um, so. Without further ado, let's go into having a look at a couple of the fixes uh, that I have here, and we can go in to see like how they were reported, how they were uh, dealt with by, by the community, and then ultimately how they were fixed and then back port port ported or, or cherry picked. Um, okay, so here's a here's a an, a crash report by Jonathan Hoffinger. Uh, crash on closing after editing a fil filter. So you open up Inkscape, you open the, the, the effects editor, you add a filter, add a primitive, you close Inkscape without saving, and it crashes. Um, uh, Jonathan Hoffinger is one of our main uh, superstar bug triage tracking individuals, so he knows how to replicate things. Um, he says that he tried it in win win Windows 10, and the specific versions that it failed in. And then we go down, we can see there's a number of plus, uh, like thumbs up. Uh, this is a good way to kind of give weight and um, heat to, to, to an issue. Uh, Adam Bellis then com comes along, and then he says he re reproduced it on 1.0, uh, on win Windows 10, but he didn't reproduce it in 0 0.92. 
0.5. This means that he's, he's narrowed the, the field, right? This is what reproduction means. It means to try and find out when the problem started happening. Uh, then Tabmahong says, I've reproduced it on Linux in Fedora 32, but I need to quit and not close Inkscape. Uh, and then there's some ban banter. Um, and then Thomas Holder comes in, and you can see how many in individuals are coming into these these issues. Um, he can reproduce it with 1.0.x, that's the, the 1.0 branch, uh, but not with like the, the latest or the next version. So it looks like it's been like it's been fixed, uh, but we don't know what it is that we changed or what what, the, what it is what new feature that we introduced that fixed the problem. Um, so it's not reproducing master again by Tav. Uh, and next, what you can see here is this massive list of things that are happening. Right. So Thomas creates a commit, uh, creates a merge request, and then and then there's this process. I'm going to walk you through. So as you can see here. Uh, this this is a fix by Thomas Holt Holder. Um, it's a workaround for the crash filter editor on Quit. Um, and what this is, this, this merge request is sort of like him requesting to change Inkscape, right? So even though Inkscape is a free software tool that anybody can edit the code for, that's, that it doesn't mean that anybody can just um, change it without um, it going through a number of in, 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 in individuals first to check and make sure that the change makes sense. Um, so we scroll down, I'm going to have a look at the cha changes to see what it was. And you can see like this crash, this this three line change, uh, workaround for 1.0, not needed in 1.1, which is what we saw, it didn't happen in master. Um, you know, th this is often what you see with a crash fix is you know, a tiny change, and suddenly it, it's fine again. Um, I reviewed it and then approved it, and then Mark uh, merged it, which means that he committed to um, putting it into master. Um, so that's that's the first thing I wanted to show, show you. I also wanted to show, show you a crash that happened to a lot of people. And so we're gonna move on to this <clears throat> fix for bug 1579. Uh, unref cursor, right? So this, if you use the the picker or dropper tool a lot, and Inkscape just died on you, especially if you're using win Windows, this is the reason. Um, so we have the report. It came in from uh, Tiffany Gon Gonzalez. I hope I'm pronouncing these these names right. Um, and then it was uh, picked up by Nathan Lee. Uh, we needed some feed, feed, feedback and Adam Bellis again. Uh, and then eventually it was re repeated because, of course, it wasn't one of those things that happens every single time that you do. It was something that happened intermittently. And then when we figured out where, where, where the backtrace was leading us were the, uh, the information that comes through the crash reports. We managed to figure out that um, it was happening because of a memory problem. Um, and so uh, Andreas Schalk fixed the, the issue and you'll you'll see that the change that he did was this single line G object on ref concursor. Now if you saw the number of tweets uh, on t Twitter uh, just gnashing of teeth and lamenting that Inkscape was crashing all, all the time um, and then when you ask them you know what were you doing when it crashed and they would usually say oh I was using the, the color picker um, this single line fixed a lot of those crashes. Um, so it, it's just kind of amazing, um, but that even though this was a single line change, you can see that the number of individuals that were involved in uh, you know, reviewing, fixing, testing, um, you know, making sure that the, uh, the, the code that goes into Inkscape, even in the old, the, the old ver versions to fix all, all the issues, um, you know, gets the attention that it needs. Um, and just to just for comparison, uh, this this is one of the other bu bug fixes, but it's one of the it's one of the more meteor fixes by Nathan Lee. This is fixing what happens when you fail to open up a P PDF, and instead of opening up a P PDF, it just crashes instead. Uh, the actual fix is is here, where it's where it checks to see if the page exists, and then you know 
don't crash if the page doesn't exist. Um, so like not all uh, fixes are succinct and single line issues, um, but it is it is interesting how like a lot of crashes end up being just you know a simple a simple error you know human fallibility forgot to release this me memory forgot to count this to the end or you know simple things like like this um well i hope you've enjoyed this sort of like dvd behind the scenes um like s special uh let me know if you if you enjoyed this and uh let me know what you'd like me to to, to work on next week um as far as things get code this week I've been focusing a lot on the website, uh, so there's not a lot of um, show to show yet. Um, so please do let me know, and, um, and thank you again.